English opening, reverse Sicilian, Tamanov, Hungarian attack, 5, a 5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. rb1 prepares the b4 pawn push. a5 gains space on the queen side and prevents white's b4 pawn push. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This exchange is fair. Recaptures. It is the last book move. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. It's alright. That's good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This enables the adversary to kick the knight. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It falls flat. This let the adversary could threaten a queen and win a tempo. It is incorrect. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is quite good. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. This misses a chance to imply that gaining a knight is possible. It is incorrect. Recaptures. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. 
This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is quite good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. This misses a better way to move a knight to safety. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. That's good. This prevents the adversary from making a pawn attack known. It is ideal. This limits a pawn's mobility by pinning it. That's good. By doing this, the chance to double rook on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses a chance to make a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players.